Rob Spam Fam! Hello, hello, hello! Today, we are decorating this thing. I bought this over a year ago and wanted to do something with it. And I thought, because the Oscars are tomorrow, I thought um, we could decorate it today. So, it's just a cheap little movie clapper. As you can see, it's not the greatest of quality. That the top clapper thing is uh, wobbly. I did try, well, we did try and tighten it, but it's not going to work. It doesn't really tighten. And I can't take it apart. So, we're just going to have to deal with it the way it is. Um, first of all, we're going to sand it because it's got like a little protector on it. So, mask on. Let's get sanding. That was sanding, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> I was scared to do this. This made a mess as well. Oi! Just dirty, dirty. So, I sanded it, cleaned it, wiped it like, like all the little dust particles. It's not the greatest of sanding jobs, it's not my profession. <laughs> I just needed enough so that the paint will stick to it. Now we're going to gesso it. I think I'll do two coats. Because it's black. So it's going to be hard to cover up. Let that dry. Two coats later, we're done. Front, back. It's still wobbly. I feel like that's going to be the issue, is the turning and the grinding bit. But I'm going to add some clay to this. It wasn't my original plan to do this. It was literally going to be pink and green. And that was it. Maybe my name on it. But the idea developed. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> So, I wasn't quite sure how to make clay drips, which is essent like what I'm trying to do. So, I just started with like a roll of clay, tucked it in that little lip part, and then just moulded it on there to the drips, smoothing it out. Which, I thought I, I did a pretty good job, to be fair. <laughs> And it literally took 10, 15 minutes, that's it, to do, which shocked me because I don't work with clay that often, but I managed to just plod my way through. <laughs> I just wanted to add like a little texture to it, a little 3D-ishness. But at this point, I have no idea what the rest of it's going to be. It's literally being taken step by step. <laughs> but I'm glad that I added the drips. I think it just adds a little bit more depth to it than rather than just flat. I'm not going to do it on the other side. Because... I don't want to make it too heavy because it is cheap after all. So <laughs> I think it cost me like £2 off eBay a couple of years ago, a year ago. But everything's still functioning. I did toy with the idea of putting like a bit of clay underneath the pin bit to see whether it helped, but I didn't want to mess with it. So I've sanded that and I've gessoed it. So we are ready for painting now. And this is my new toy. 
and I figured that I would keep the pink and green in there because it's my channel colours, so we're going to be using them a lot. But we're going pink and green, so the drips for the logo. Trying to add some shading in the drips as well. Also, <laughs> trying to get the right colours for the pink and green on the on our channel, so. I gotta say, I did have a lot of fun with this. I don't normally enjoy the painting process. I normally get frustrated waiting for it to dry. But I was just chilling. Like, I didn't set myself... Well, I, I knew that the Oscars were on the 13th. So I knew that this video had to come out before then, but <laughs> it did take me a while to complete this. And for some strange reason, the green was giving me all kinds of issues. It was just not sticking. Every time I painted on top of it, it came up all blotchy. So, I don't know what the deal was there. But, we can let that dry. Then we'll, I'll guess next day. While we wait. La di da. Ta da! Not loving the colours. I think they need to change. There we go. You probably couldn't have told the difference, but to my eye, it looked off before, and now the green looks right. Pink looks a little better. That's my only issue there, is I can't paint that bit because it keeps scraping the paint off. But when it's up, you can't see it. And when it's down, you can't see it. So it's just the motion. But I guess your hand's going to be there anyway when you use it. Now, what do we do with this bit? You'll have to excuse my finger. There's going to be a plaster throughout, pretty much. <laughs> I was cutting my hair and I cut my finger with the hairdresser's scissors. And I didn't know about it until mm, I noticed blood everywhere, pretty much. <laughs> That's how sharp the scissors were. <laughs> but I've done a design of my avatar for this, and I'm going to attempt to paint it. <laughs> Never painted my avatar before. It's going to be interesting. At the minute, I'm just, again, I'm just taking it st step by step. I've drawn it. I'm, a, I'm happy with it. And now I'm just blocking in the colour. Then we'll work on shading and blending and whatever. I found this was the best way to do it because otherwise I get overwhelmed by the... I can't think of the word. By the process of it all. Like, I just... Thinking about how long it takes for the paint to dry, for this to do, then I gotta line it, then I gotta mod project, it, then I gotta do this, and it's like... <laughs> Coloured pencils, it'd just be done. <laughs> so, I've taken the green from my container and added more yellow to it to make it brighter for the t-shirt. I love the shading on that t-shirt. However, it does disappear. <laughs> For some bizarre reason, the the bottom green section was just sucking in the paint. Only the like the green though, it just sucked it in. Disappeared.
I did use a reference for this pose disclaimer, I guess. So that is available on our Pinterest archive board if you want that. But trying to add some shade into the hair. It annoys me that the hair's like squared off, but I wasn't brave enough to paint hair. I'm not. I I struggle to draw it to make it look natural without looking stiff. But yeah, I do. We, we're dealing with firsts here, and. I've never painted my avatar for a start. I've never painted a human. <laughs> so we're we're taking first steps. I did another coat to that t-shirt because like I said, it just sucked it up. <laughs> when this is dry, I'll draw the face in. There we go. Lined it. I did paint the clapper. Um, it's original form. I just thought it'd be a nice little touch. I hate using line art on the hair, on the face, or on anything to do with the human. Because I just don't like it. It doesn't look right. But I had to for this because I tried to do it with paint. Add some shading for the nose and whatever, but you couldn't really see it. And then... I just... I had to use the pen. It annoys me. But I don't think it's that bad, considering I've never painted a human before. I don't think I did a bad job. It's a little blotchy on the back because it just kept soaking the paint in no matter how much I put on it. <laughs> but, uh, Mod Podge time, I guess. Ta-da! Doesn't make much difference. I added some highlights. It's got a nice little shine to it now, all protected. I did have some issues with the Mod Podge and the line art for some bizarre reason. It was fine everywhere apart from the nose and the mouth. When I modge podged it, it smudged. So yeah, that happened. I added some highlights to the juiciness at the top. But we're ready now. Action! I don't know, I just thought it would be a good idea. I saw Mariah had a movie clapper. Um, I don't know whether she made it or whether a fan sent it to her, but I just liked the idea of it. <laughs> and then obviously we added the hashtag spam fam. Still claps together. Still loose. I thought the Mod Podge might help stiffen it up, but it didn't. Uh, again, I don't know what I would use it for, but it is what it is. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And in honor of the Oscars, I believe I I earned this award. I I want to thank everyone for their support, and I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I did contemplate making something clay as an Oscar but anyway I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one bye